mind me baby let's do it Y'all see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking hey, high and I am back to my video. So today I put together this deck that's super fast cycle. It's got the wall breakers, it's got Ram Rider, it's got the new evil Tesla, it's also got Earthquake. The thing with Ram Rider is it tends to get stuck up against Bomb Tower and Tesla, so that's why I threw the um, Earthquake in here. And we're gonna go with the Split wall breakers in the back. We still have Little Prince. Little Prince, I think, is still really, really good, even though it got a nerf to its range. We'll start off with the Ram Rider right here. Just the ability of the Little Prince to just go with a three elixir knight, and you don't always have to use it, is very, very valuable. So our opponent's got Tesla as well. And we'll cycle ours in the middle and just try to get to the evil the evil Tesla quicker. So He's going to split archers. I wonder if it's Expo. If it's Expo or any type of siege deck, our um, Earthquake is going to do really, really well into it. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're going to go with this. We're going to go with Ram Rider as well. And I think we should be okay here. So Ram Rider is going to break through that pretty easily. And then I think he's got Log now. So that's kind of unfortunate um, interaction for us. But it's okay. We have Mega Knight as well. So Mega Knight will also do really, really well into the expo so we have evil skeletons and don't know if i want to play quite yet but i think we're actually in a pretty good spot so we'll go with split evil skeletons right here and we'll go with the mega knight and let's see what he does he he does have tesla i wonder if he chooses to use the tesla yeah okay so he chooses to use the tesla which is the bait that i'm essentially setting for it so Tesla will get finished up more or less and we're going to ignore that on the right side if he goes with okay we're just giant snowball right here and we'll go ram rider and wall breakers we want to get back to our uh, mega knight as soon as possible ram rider is going to charge on through finish up the tesla and i okay with the ice spear definitely won't get a shot anymore but i think we're in an okay spot we're going to go with mega knight right here and i'm expecting to go with fireball yeah, well, that's okay. Mega Knight's gonna jump onto the Expo, and then we're gonna go with Ram Rider right here. And we're gonna go with Giant Snowball the first chance we get. And okay, so pretty well played by our opponent with that delay. We're not in a tough spot because we're actually catching up. So we're gonna go with um, Split Skeleton, Split Wall Breakers, and we're gonna cycle Little Prince here in the back again. And we'll go with the Mega Knight. So he did allow that wall breaker to connect on that left side. If he allows another one, we'll definitely uh, take advantage of it. And... Oh, that's kind of interesting. We'll go with the Earthquake right here. And... I think we can just ignore everything else more or less for now. We're, we're basically back to another Mega Knight. So I'm not too worried about the Expo. We'll cycle wall breakers right here. And we'll go Mega Knight. And... Let's get our Ram Rider ready as well. And I think we're in a pretty decent position. We'll split this right here and we'll go with Little Prince. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. We'll go Wall Breakers as well and we'll go with the Guardian. Um, and then we're going to force out the Expo, so that's um, the Tesla, which is really nice. And we'll go with, uh, with our Mega Knight. And we're going to drag this out. That kind of That's kind of what happens when you go up against Expo. That's typically what happens. We'll go with Ram Rider right now. And we'll go with the Earthquake. And we'll go with Giant Snowball as well. Finish up the um, Archers. So we're essentially just spell cycling our opponent out right now. We'll go Mega Knight as well. And Mega Knight doesn't lock into a tower. But we do get a um, Ram Rider shot it looks like. So we'll go with um, Ram Rider right here. And let's get Earthquake down again. And then we'll go with Giant Snowball. We should hit the um, Archers. Ram Rider should charge on through for a shot, so that's really nice. Leaked a little bit of Elixir, but that's okay. We'll go with Little Prince right here. And we'll cycle uh, one Elixir Skeletons up high. And we'll Earthquake both of this and not even worry about trying to hit the tower. I think this is the right play. Ram Rider's gonna charge on through. Um, oh wow, this gave him a ton of value. But we're going to Giant Snowball whatever he drops, so Ram Rider is going to charge on through. And we're going to go with Earthquake right here. And all we need to do is just drop a Mega Knight. And that's going to be a good game well played. 
Um, that's kind of what happens with this deck going up against Expo or any type of Siege deck. Really, really good. Let's hop into another. All right. Up against ability here. We'll split our skeletons here in the back. And we'll go with Ram Rider. Ram Rider is actually Loki highly um, underrated. We'll go with um, one of the skeletons and the giant snowball to counter the Hog Rider. And level 12 uh, Little Prince feels kind of bad, but you know, don't blame him too much. We'll go with uh, Tesla up high. And that should be pretty good defense. And we'll cycle back to evil Tesla even quicker. So that's really nice. And the Little Prince nerf, I mean, it's. I mean, I can kind of tell the difference, but it's just so valuable still so we're gonna split wall breakers and that's why i'm keeping little prince in my cycle in my decks it's a really good uh cycle target in general too so we force out the cannon which is really nice because we're gonna go with ram rider right now and see what our opponent drops we'll go with little prince right here for the knight and i think we should be in a pretty decent spot he goes with fireball and he misses the little prince oh man that that's gotta feel bad we'll hover our Mega Knight, just in case, but I highly doubt he's going to drop it, the ability. So we're going to go with Tesla up high. And that should counter the Knight pretty well. And we're going to go with Wall Breakers here on this left side. And he's not able to play Hog too well. This deck does really well against Hog because you got Mega Knight, you've got one of your Skeletons uh, when they're evoed. Also, you have uh, Tesla, of course, so really, really well. And we're going to go with Little Prince here in the back. And that's kind of interesting choice. We'll go with the uh, Ram Rider. We'll go with Earthquake as well. We do have one evil skeleton that kind of stayed there in the back. Oh my gosh, that Ice Spear jumped like it was in the Olympics and kind of saved him right there. So if he goes with Hog Rider, which I'm assuming, yeah, we'll just go with Mega Knight and then finish off the uh, evil skeletons. We'll go with one of skeletons here um, after the Knight locks on. And we're in a pretty decent spot. So we're going to go with Ram Rider here in the back, and we'll split Wall Breakers. That's not very well played by our opponent. We'll go with uh, Earthquake right now. The Wall Breakers are going to both um, connect on both sides, and Mega Knight's going to wreak quite a bit of havoc there. And actually, we're going to switch to the right side now. So we're going to go with the Evil Tesla. Evil Tesla is honestly really, really, well, really, really good, because look at that, it just stuns it, and then does quite a bit of damage too so but it's not overpowered i feel so it's definitely a well well balanced um evil card so ram is going to charge through and force out the log and let's get our little prince ready again i'm expecting to go with the log rider unless he does it which is fine we'll go with the split wall breakers right here and we'll go with a uh, recycle earthquake and we'll go with our Tesla again. And we're ready for with another Mega Knight. So we're going to drop the Mega Knight right on top of the Little Prince. Really, really good. And he instance with the well played, though I think it's a little bit of a, you know, nudge nudge on the side that it, that it was just luck. We'll go with Ram Rider right here. And we'll go with Earthquake. And unfortunately, our evil skeletons do die, it looks like. So, but the Ram Rider is able to charge on through. Wow, that's actually really, really good value. We're going to go with the Mega Knight right here. And let's wait for his Little Prince to activate the ability. Does he want to activate the ability? Does he not? Okay, so he ends up opting not to, which is really good for us, obviously. We'll go with uh, one Lixir Skeletons. We have Earthquake. And this deck also has a crazy cycle when you have the uh, Little Prince on the, on the field. Because your three-card cycle, you can out-cycle a lot of things and you get back to many Earthquakes at the end. So we'll go with Mega Knight right here, um, we'll go with the Giant Snowball as well, and then we'll go with the uh, Little Prince here, and we're going to wait for that to roll on over, and then we'll go with the, the one Elixir Skeletons, and we're going to go with the Mega Knight, going to jump onto the tower, good game, well played. This deck is super fast cycle, you can get a ton of Mega Knights, a ton of Ram Riders on the field, and at the end you can Earthquake cycle your opponent out. So if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more, and see you next time.